testing Tony and Cindy Bridgeview. <laughs> This is Bridgeview Adventures. This is Tony. I'm Cindy Lynn. We're out here on Saturday. We got a clear day, so we thought we would uh, come out. We had a couple tasks we need to do, just getting spring. And uh, most importantly, we have our building permit finally. And uh, raise the roof. We have to post that out at the end of the driveway here uh, so the, you know, for county regulations. So we got that, got that mounted up. So uh, Onward we go and continue uh, on our adventure to getting the, the house built. Tell them how much the the permit costs. Permit one hundred and twenty for us. Mm -hmm. It's uh, dependent upon your square footage of what you build. And then we had some other quirks we just wanted to talk about, kind of interesting things that happened. So the first one is we had a bulldozer out here, as you can see behind us. We're starting to get our driveway finished. We got part of it done, but the bulldozer was clearing out the spot for the driveway and I guess the weight of the bulldozer ran over the water line that runs right across where the driveway is. Mm -hmm. The the contractor guy actually seen a puddle puddles of water coming right. up continuously and realized hey something was going on. But we weren't digging nearly that deep mm -hmm. or shouldn't have been digging that deep. And as it turns out the water line's only 18 inches deep. Now he did not hit the water mm -hmm. line. Uh the just the weight of the of the uh bulldozer uh, cracked the line so they came out they put a temporary repair on it and then they came back about a week later or a few days after that and they went ahead and they dug down on both sides of the driveway they dug up the old line buried it a good four foot deep where it crosses under our driveway here and then back out on the other side so the uh, because of what we may or may not RVs coming in and out of, of our driveway uh, farm equipment and things of that sort so they buried it deep so we shouldn't have that problem anymore. yeah they left they kind of left a little bit of a mess that we have to clean up so we'll we'll show that or yeah, yeah it's behind us that's a lump of dirt yeah. it's just mounted up it's gonna have to we have to let it settle after it settles we'll get the greater blade out and we'll just we'll mm -hmm. grade it flat it's not like it's our front yard <laughs> that's yeah. the good thing about the farm it's not like it's you know i gotta worry about seeding it and everything else right now so but uh, there there are pieces of of plastic from the pipe quite a quite a few pieces in there i need to pick out yeah, they, didn't pretty clean, sharp. they didn't clean the old pipe out they pretty much just dug the old pipe out and left yeah, it in and the they dirt just left it, it in the, the dirt <laughs> <laughs> so, and then we have we have another weird quirk um with the electric that's going in oh uh, yeah um <laughs> tony's been so our electric line has to come from across the road and it's about uh, 50 to 100 yards uh, on the neighbor's land. There's an empty land on the opposite side of us. They use it for hunting. And about 100, 50 to 100 yards is where the power poles are. So they're going to come off one of those poles, bring it across the, his land, bring it across our ro uh, the road, the main dry road here. And then they'll put a pole on our side. At, at that point, we will dig up to the house. But the electric company keeps trying to get me to contact that neighbor to get permission to put the right of way across for them to come across the road. So we're trying to figure out why am I doing this and not the electric company. Yeah. It's their easement. <laughs> they already have an easement for running the power lines across his property. And the, the quirky part about it is is that they didn't really give us any instructions. So there's no, no like official paperwork that they gave Tony. They just said, you know, you need to get permission from that landowner across the street. And I'm like, Which well, we've never do met. you knock on their door? We don't know who they are. <laughs> you just knock we on their door and get verbal lived. permission? We did yeah. look on the county plat program, and they own a house at the bottom of the hill here in this town or whatever. But they don't live there. It's yeah. just another property they own. They actually live in Kentucky. I think they live, in, <laughs> yeah, they live They live in another state. So we, we cannot hunt these people down. We don't know right. them. We don't really know where they live. We don't have an official paperwork. And, and they're telling, so. the electric company's telling me, oh, well, they live in Kentucky, so we can't get a hold of them. Well, we can't either. <laughs> so. and, and I'm and I'm the magical neighbor man? Well, <laughs> yeah, we're, we're not sure. They're not ever coming up here because it's an empty field. It's an empty, you know, it's a hunting land. They don't, he's never, he don't come up here. Yeah, he's it's an empty land. Too. I know that. 
So we're here's here's the deal. We're in a standstill right now because they're saying that we need permission. So we're like, okay, we'll just go tell them. Yeah, they gave us permission. <laughs> just kidding. Uh, we don't we don't know. So we're in a standstill. Uh, we already paid them. We're just waiting to see what what pans out here. We're gonna talk to them some more and and see how we can go ahead and progress with this uh, awkward situation. So <laughs> hopefully we'll have electricity sometime in the next year. We shall see. So. So. Anyway. So that's what's going on right now with Bridgeview Adventures. So we want you to stay tuned. We are, some of you might not be interested in the stuff we're doing with our land. Some might be, but we are going to be bringing more RV stuff. We got some really interesting stuff coming up. I'll give you a little preview. We are going to be hacking into our RV to do some interesting stuff. More so construction. That's all, that's all that I'm saying. <laughs> some things that annoy me, so I'm going to put some things in to fix that. And then some things Don't she would like much. changed. Yeah, I never like it when Tony hacks into our RV. But stay tuned. <laughs> going to be fun. Going to be interesting to see what's going to happen here with both the land and the RV. So peace out. We'll catch you guys later. Later. Thanks for watching.